Welcome back to Nourished Somatics. I'm Caitlin Hatch, and I'm super excited you're here today because I'd like to share with you one of the most incredible movements somatics has to offer for those of us suffering from low chronic back pain. This is called the back lift, and we will be pendiculating the muscles of the back of the body, that green light reflex, in order to release the muscles of the back that are in constant and chronic contraction, which is causing our low back pain. So go ahead and lie down on your mat or floor. And you'll first just want to start by stacking your hands on top of each other. Rest in your head down on your hands. And we'll just be rolling the pelvis from side to side, just a little bit. So we're going to be tipping the pelvis to the right, pressing that right hip bone down into the mat, and slow motion coming back to center. Then we'll be slowly rolling onto the left side of our pelvis, pressing that front of the hip bone into the mat very gently, and coming back to center. This is going to help us address any sensory motor amnesia we might have show up in this movement. So go ahead and do that a couple more times. Rolling the right side of the pelvis. Notice what is contracting and letting go. And then slowly coming back to center. And then slowly rolling to the left again and coming back to center. Then I'd like you to reach both of your legs long down toward the bottom of your mat and you might even let your, your feet float up off the ground an inch or two. And notice what happens to lift your feet is to contract your lower back. The lower back, and you can reach around and feel it, is contracted and tight. And then slow motion, start to release the muscles of the back in order to let the feet float back down to the mat and turn everything off. Do that another time or two. Contracting the back, letting the feet reach long, floating them up off the mat. And you can do one at a time if this is too much to do both feet at the same time. Just do one foot and then the other. And then slowly come back down to center. We're pandiculating the muscles of the back of the body. Remember that pandiculation is a contraction just to get the brain to pay attention to the muscles of the back. The slow and mindful release is where the brain is learning something new. We're learning a new pattern, a new way of being in the world by letting those muscles relax. And then rest is the third step of that pandiculation, which allows the brain time to integrate the new learning it has just experienced. Now let's move up to the top of the body. So go ahead and reach um, your left arm long at your side. That side is going to be quiet in this movement on this side. The right arm is going to, the fingertips will be underneath the nose, elbow out at your side, not too close to the body, not too far away, but just a comfortable distance away from the body. And first, we're going to keep the palm planted on the mat. And just go ahead and float that elbow straight up toward the ceiling. And notice what happens in the shoulder girdle. The shoulder slides in toward the spine, down toward that left hip a little bit. And slow motion release, coming back to center. If you feel jumpy, jerky, shaky on that release, that's that sensory motor amnesia, SMA, showing up. Can you go into the contraction a little bit more and try to smooth those jerks and wobbles out with your breath? Which will allow you to start having more control over the muscles in that area of the shoulder. Don't give up at the end. Let that shoulder come all the way to a full relaxation without just dropping into the floor. Let it really be in control the whole time on the release. This time, let's add the head. So imagine that your fingertips are glued to your nose and you're gonna lift your head up 
and look over your right shoulder. Remember that to lift our feet was to engage our back. And so the same is true on the top of the body. To lift our head is to engage the back. We don't want to see this where we're just cranking the neck up and down. That's going to cause pain in our neck. So to lift the head is to actually engage the muscles of the low back, middle back, and upper back so that the head floats up off the floor like a feather. So go ahead, inhale. You're going to float that elbow up, followed by the hand and head to look over the shoulder. And then slow motion release. Noticing if there's any jerkiness on the release. Try to smooth it out with your breath and turn everything off. Let's pay attention to the left leg. Go ahead and leave the right leg long and just go ahead and reach that left leg long and let that left leg float up off the ground. Feel into the contraction how far up the spine, up the back, do you feel that contraction? And do you notice your right shoulder wanting to engage a little bit? If you don't, that's okay. But we are going to be working the back of the body on the diagonal. Slow motion release. Letting that glute muscle release slowly and mindfully. And then let's put it all together. Go ahead and float that elbow, hand, and head up. Left leg lifts. We're creating a diagonal contraction on the back of the body, that green light reflex, going into the contraction so that we can slowly start to release and let the brain learn something new, how to release those muscles that have been contracted probably Often throughout the day, since we're in a go, go, go society, we never have time to actually turn those muscles off when we're not using them. Do that repetition a few times. And then roll back onto your back for a little bit of a soma scan. And you can do the soma scan in between one side and the other, just to start to feel the difference between the two sides of the body on that diagonal. And notice what you feel. What do you feel that has changed just by working that one side of the body on the diagonal? Do you feel a difference in your leg length? Do you feel a difference in your shoulders or your head? Just take a little bit of an inventory of what you're feeling in your body before moving on to the other side. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining.